In this video, we will be talking about this incident when they tried recycling chloroform with phosgene. We will be diving deep into the incident that led to this situation too, so if you are new to this channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. This is what happened when I worked at the Natural Products Lab. As every scientist claims, safety is the number one priority. Even though you are vigilant enough, mistakes tend to happen quite often and there is nothing you can do to avoid it. All you can do is to educate yourself to stay calm and act intelligently in situations like these. But what really happened? How is the title of the video related to this? Was it dangerous or harmful in any way? Continue watching the video till the end to know more. I used to work at the Natural Products Laboratory where we used to run column chromatography almost every day and made use of a lot of solvent including chloroform. One such day I was distilling some impure chloroform and then happened to by chance add one liter of old chloroform, which was maybe over 10 years old, to the distillation flask. The fumed hood was on, therefore I could not notice anything strange, but just after distillation I stored the chloroform in a 5 liter gallon. The next day, I was alone in the lab and opened the gallon outside the fume hood since my chromatographic column was too big for it. I was then hit by a strong, sweet and acidic smell. It seemed like a shard punch to the face. I then started coughing immediately and felt like my throat was on fire. I ran out of the lab in order to breathe some fresh air in the emergency exit, still coughing and unable to breathe. But then when I recovered, I turned on the fan in the lab to get rid of the smell and sealed the gallon. On that day, I learned that chloroform can turn to phosgene, which is the chemical weapon used in World War II, and that is probably what I breathed. Well, at least some of it. It did not cause any further consequences and I learned to never use old chloroform again, but then again my inquisitive switch seemed to have turned on, and I went on to research more about it. I found out that for some reason, a small amount of ethanol is added to the chloroform battle. But the obvious question that came up was, why? I researched and found out that if chloroform is put away in a clear glass bottle sitting in some sunshine, then it forms a very toxic compound which is called phosgene. This happens because chloroform CHC3L reacts with the oxygen in the sunlight to give out phosgene and hydrogen chloride. But isn't that quite dangerous? Yes, it is for this reason that a small amount of ethanol is added to the solvent which leads to the formation of some complex compound which is much less toxic than phosgene. And for your information, chloroform itself is not healthy to breathe or ingest either. But if you want to keep the chloroform up to spec without ethanol in it, here happens to be another way to get the phosgene out of it. You can do it by washing it with Na2CO solution in water. The phosgene formed would react to a harmless product, and since water does not mix with the chloroform, it can easily be separated after that. Therefore, I would advise you to keep your chloroform, if you have any, out of the sun in a dark brown bottle and do not stock too much is even simpler. Did you learn something interesting today? Did you find the story interesting? Did we miss out on anything? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We would love to get to know your perspective on this matter. Let's discuss these in yet another video, so stay tuned. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you've liked the video, then do make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button too. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of such awesome videos. Until then, see ya!